Imagine a programming language that gives you the power and control of C++, but with the safety and ease of modern languages like Python. What if I told you that it could help prevent those dreaded memory bugs and data races? Welcome to Rust, the language that's redefining systems programming. By the end of this video, you'll know why Rust is taking over the tech world and how it can transform the way you code. So what exactly is Rust? Simply put, Rust is a systems programming language focused on three things, safety, speed, and concurrency. But let's break that down. First up, safety. Rust was designed with safety in mind. It has a unique feature called the borrow checker that ensures memory safety without needing a garbage collector. It means fewer bugs, fewer crashes, and more confidence in your code. Then we have speed. Rust is as close to the metal as it gets. It compiles directly to machine code, so it can be as fast as C and C++, making it ideal for systems programming. This is why Rust is often used for performance-critical applications. Lastly, concurrency. Rust makes it much easier to write multi-threaded code. Thanks to its strong memory model, Rust helps prevent data races, making it one of the best languages for safe concurrent programming. All right, now you might be thinking, why should I learn Rust? I'm already comfortable with languages like Python, JavaScript, or maybe C++. But imagine this, you're working on a project, maybe it's a game, a machine learning model, or a high-performance backend, and it starts hitting performance limits. Or you find yourself struggling with complex memory bugs that make you want to pull your hair out. This is where Rust can become your secret weapon. Reason number one, memory safety without a garbage collector. Languages like Python and Java rely on garbage collectors to manage memory for you, which is convenient, but also adds overhead. Rust, on the other hand, lets you write memory-safe code without a garbage collector, giving you the control and performance of C++ with far less risk. Reason number two, cross-platform development. Rust is designed to run on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux with no need for platform-specific code. If you're working on applications that need to work seamlessly across operating systems, Rust has got you covered. And finally, the Rust community is exploding. Just in the last few years, Rust has become one of the most loved languages, according to the Stack Overflow Developer Surveys. The ecosystem is growing rapidly too, with tons of libraries and frameworks like Actix for web development, Tokio for async programming, and Bevy for game development. So there's never been a better time to learn Rust. Now let's talk about where Rust is actually being used today. Spoiler alert, it's everywhere from tech giants to innovative startups. Did you know that Mozilla, the creators of Firefox, originally developed Rust? They built Rust to replace parts of Firefox, which needed more speed and memory safety than other languages could offer. Today, Rust powers part of the Firefox browser, and Mozilla has used it in several other projects too. But it's not just Mozilla. Microsoft has adopted Rust to improve Windows security. In fact, over 70% of security bugs in Windows have been due to memory safety issues, and Rust is helping to reduce that significantly. Even Amazon is using Rust in their cloud infrastructure for AWS, as it offers the performance they need with reduced risk. On the open source side, there are incredible projects in Rust. Dropbox rewrote parts of their file storage engine in Rust to improve performance. And if you're interested in WebAssembly, Rust is one of the best supported languages for building lightweight, high-performance applications for the web. Finally, Rust is seeing a lot of love in the startup and game development worlds. With frameworks like Bevy, Rust is quickly becoming popular among game developers who need both high-performance and memory safety. So, what makes Rust really stand out? It all comes down to Rust's unique approach to memory safety and its zero-cost abstractions. Rust's ownership model is a revolutionary way of managing memory without the need for a garbage collector. With ownership, you don't just write code. You tell Rust exactly who owns what data and when it should be cleaned up. This gives you fine-grained control over memory while also preventing common bugs. Then there are zero-cost abstractions. Rust allows you to write high-level, readable code without paying a performance penalty. Unlike other languages where abstractions slow things down, Rust compiles these abstractions directly into efficient machine code. So, are you ready to dive into Rust? Let me know in the comments. What are you most excited to build with Rust? See you in the next video, 